Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and this is going to be a really quick video showing you how to create and manage workspaces on the Optimus Flow trading platform. So there are a there are multitude of different reasons why you might use different workspaces for your trading. One workspace could be catered around, let's say, for example, I have on the screen right now the E Mini size DAO, and then maybe another workspace could be used for the E Mini S and P 500. Maybe you want to have a dome and a chart on one workspace and then a TPO chart and all your order history on other there. Like I said, there are so many different combinations you can do when creating and managing workspaces. It honestly comes down to personal preference. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look on how to manage workspaces. So you'll find all your workspaces up in the top right hand corner of the platform. You'll see the icon I'm currently hovering over is designated for workspaces. Now there's a default workspace, of course, that is going to be the workspace that you open up when the platform first starts for the first time. After that, you'll begin to change and create your own workspace. Now workspace pretty much auto saves every time you close out the platform. So that's pretty much your method of saving. Anytime you make adjustments, your workspace will adjust as well. So you can always lock your workspace as well by clicking the lock button there. This will pretty much just ensure that, as you can see, your workspace is locked and you don't necessarily have the power to adjust anything. So as you can see, I'm trying to move this window here, but our workspace is locked. So this will prevent you from moving any of these things around or pretty much, you know, making unnecessary changes that you're not aware of. This is also represented. You can see there's a little lock symbol above my workspace icon now. So we'll go ahead and unlock that just to show you first. You can rename this. You pretty much just as you saw, left click the workspace icon, click on rename here. Workspace will pop up. We can name this demo. That way, when we save it, we know what we're working with. Now we're on demo workspace. If you want, you can delete your workspaces by clicking on delete. It'll of course ask you if you want to delete this. We'll click on yes and we'll give it a second. And now it's deleted. As you saw in the background there, that's our community forum. If you're not familiar with it, you can ask any of your questions you have on here and we'll gladly answer them. Just scroll down and click on Optimus Flow. And this is where all the Optimus Flow questions are going to be answered and asked. Now let's go back to our platform here. So this looks like it was our first workspace. As you can see, it's a bit unorganized. If you're not familiar with it, you can left click, hold and drag. And although you can only see one monitor, I'm actually dragging my chart over on another monitor. So you can utilize workspaces with multiple monitors as well. So that's another good method of organizing your workspaces. Maybe have one monitor for one instrument, one monitor for the other. Again, you can pretty much just left click, drag and hold. And as you can see, you can move around these um, windows all around and they will automatically pop in as necessary. So you may need to start with a smaller window here. Let's uh, make this a bit smaller or close this out, actually. So as you can see, we can left click, hold and drag. It'll lock in. We can move this over. You'll see it. The red means it's not going to pop in. So we can pretty much just rearrange and organize as needed. So boom, it locks in. Let's click and drag this over. This is now locked in here. We have a chart. This is on my other monitor. I'm going to make it a bit smaller here. So now you can see this locks into place. And then I can expand and it will fill in the empty space. Then I can click on lock. Now nothing will move. So just showing you some different options. Um, again, this isn't getting too much into the meat of things, but I just want to show you some of the different options you can have with workspaces. Obviously, this may not be perfectly aesthetic or even reasonable, but you can do this with any single window on this platform. So you can open up a dome, snap that in there, open up your order history, put that on the bottom. However you want, the platform's completely customizable. If you want, you can also create a new workspace so you can go ahead and create new there. We have a couple different templates. So here is a blank template. All that's going to be populated on this is your toolbar at the pop or at the top, excuse me. And then you can start 
opening up new windows and rearranging them kind of how you saw in the last example but just pretty much create the platform for yourself we have charts two by two which is actually a bit similar to this let's go ahead and create click on create there as you can see this is in, and we don't have any symbols or anything added yet so of course this is going to be blank but this is a two by two chart we of course need to start adding in symbols to make this populate as intended and then for our other workspace options let's go back to default um or let's go back to create workspace we can go to default then create and now we're back to the default workspace. So as you can see, you definitely have quite a few different options here. Again, you can pretty much just swap back and forth between workspaces as needed. Um, locking is a great way to ensure that you don't accidentally mess things up or rearrange them um, without your intention. And workspaces are pretty much just a great way to stay organized. Again, there's so many different combinations and reasons you might wanna use a workspace, but all the powers within the workspace icon here. That's the end of this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Optimus Flow content. If you do have any questions, again, please head over to our community forum. It's community.optimusfutures.com, and you're more than welcome to ask your questions there. Um, if you like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Optimus Flow content. And as always, thanks for watching.